Hello Dragonlings, my name is Silver and today we're back at School of Dragons and we're gonna take a look at once again a onesie outfit. In the previous episode we talked about the Light Fury onesie and I did a showcase of it. And you guys really seem to enjoy that. So today we're gonna take a look at the Toothless onesie. These are very limited. They are only available until the 3rd of September 2020. So they're gonna be gone very very quickly. I. They might be gone now even, I don't know when this video is actually going to come out, so they're very exclusive. But you guys want to see a showcase, so that's what I intend to do. Here we have the two this one C in game with my Viking. I tried to make myself entirely black, but I couldn't really do that. I tried to paint myself, um, but I couldn't really cover it up. It was easier with the Light Fury because you could just turn like albino. Albino is allowed in this game, but just being entirely a black color is not allowed. So yeah, it didn't work out that <laughs> that well. I think I mean it still looks cool enough, like war paint. But yeah, it does, it does still look like like human skin. I would have liked it to be more dragon skin, but it's not. So in any case, this is the outfit. So let's not look too much on my face. Let's just look at the outfit. And it works really well if you're riding toothless, as you can see here. The alpha spikes kind of go right up, leading up to mine. So we kind of merge together and the tail is kind of inside of the dragon. That's not so nice. But it does look cool with the alpha spikes on the onesie and then the alpha spikes on the toothless. So this onesie is obviously inspired by a Night Fury. And it has this entirely black color. And then it has these scales on the stomach on the front of it. Uh, which Toothless doesn't really have the actual Toothless, but I get what they went with to give it like a little more texture, a little more life to it, so I don't mind too much. Then we have all the visible stitching, comes across as a little bit creepy, <laughs> like a, like a Frankenstein feel, but it's to make it seem more primitive, more Viking Age like, because onesies are not Viking Age like, so they're kind of like trying to do that. And then the tail is extremely detailed for being just a onesie tail. I don't even know how they made this. Like, what did they make that tail fin out of? It looks like an actual tail fin. How? how? I, don't, I don't get it. And the spikes as well too. Like, how did that work out? How would they even implement this? Um, kind of not that believable, but cool, I guess. Kind of. And again, the back of the head looks like a cow. <laughs> it's very similar to the Light Fury. They're probably made from the same mold. The ears are kind of the same as the Light Fury. It might be a bit longer, which as they should, you know. And then he has two on top of his head, but he doesn't have the remaining ones on his cheek. There's just nothing there, which is a shame. But I can forgive it. It's a simple. It's supposed to be a simple design. Uh, the eyes kind of creepy, kind of cute at the same time, and then these random spikes at the top of the head. Well, they're not random, but it's kind of random how they would make them stick. How do you make spikes like that and make them stick like that? They're incredibly well done. And then the gloves has these like claws, like your entire thumb is a claw and your fingers are claws. And the overall glove is like the same color as the rest of the outfit. And uh, it does this freaky thing where there's only three claws on the foot, but five on your actual hand. I mean, it makes sense from a practical standpoint, like you need to grab things and your toes, you don't really grab stuff so it doesn't have to have all the toes in there. But still, it's a bit of a weird contrast uh, that we only have three on the foot, because Toothless has four, so... I don't know who... I don't know, it was not that well thought out, but it's a small detail so I can forgive it. And it's a pretty tight onesie, uh, except for the sagging at the, um, the crotch area. Onesies come in a lot of different shapes. I imagine them being very baggy, like a what? Are, what are the Japanese name? Kiku, Kikurami? Kiku, Kikumari? Kigurumi. I think it's a pretty cute onesie. Uh, it does indeed look like toothless, and the, the tail moves when you run, which is cute but kind of creepy at the same time. I don't know what to tell you. It's, it's kind of weird. And th these onesies are like defying the laws of reality. Um, but I can forgive it, because they're cute. One thing that I kind of strikes out is that the wing has a spike on it. Both wings have a spike at the top of it. Which doesn't really make any sense, because Toothless doesn't have spikes on his wings. They're smooth. So why would there be a spike on these wings? Wait, they, they made the spike in-game as well. Toothless, excuse me? Okay, so School Dragon's Toothless has like a little hook claw on his wing. Why? 
I'm pretty sure Tufus does not have a little claw on his wings. School dragons, why are you weird? Why are you weird? Well, I guess uh, school dragons universe is different than the parent Tufus has a little, uh, little claw. Yeah, I guess. I guess. I'm not gonna question it. So here we can really get a look at the tail. <laughs> the way it just moves around when you run. It, it's... It's disturbing. But cute. I mean, in a very weird way. It moves very, like, uh, mechanical. But it's cute. It's so random. It's so weird. I like it. It's cute. We should try to take this onesie into tactic battles and see how it looks when your viking is actually battling it out in the uh, battle arena. Let's try it out. It's so weird. I never mentioned this, but the blue light on every single thing that you can go into. What's with that? Uh, it's so it's easy for you to see here's an entrance. It just seems kind of out of place. I'm not too big of a fan of that. It's weird. All right, we have a stick. <laughs> Because I forgot to put the weapon on. It's all good. It's all good. Well, Tilthus is still incredibly strong, so he can probably deal with these. Even if I can't. What is this weird... Uh, what is this weird quest? I didn't even get to fight anything. There is a snow wraith coming right for us. So we should be able to hit that right in the head and then kill it. With a stick. And then let's uh, try it out. <laughs> well, it looks so silly. <laughs> it looks so cute, but ridiculous at the same time. Okay, I'm gonna try to light smack on this guy. Oh, with a stick. Cute. Very cute. Alright, so overall the onesie works pretty well with your viking. I mean, I don't see anything wrong with it just fitting your body. It works well with the animations and whatnot. So, I think it's kind of cute. Again, a bit random, but... It's cozy, you can fly around, you can chill out just having something really soft on you and uh, it's just nice. It's just nice. So I don't mind too much. It's a very cute one. Out of this one and the Light Fury, I think I might like the Light Fury more. This one has a lot of weird uh, spikes and the spike on the wing is also weird. But I think they're both cute in their own way and cool in their own way. So let me know what you think about the one C's and if you enjoyed this video be sure to leave a like, I really appreciate it. And most importantly, thank you so much for watching, hopefully I will see you next time. So long!